seven pointer this game. Leeds <laughs> host Forest. Leeds at minus one twenty five. Too short, Forest plus 360. That could be too short as well. The draw is a definite runner at plus 265. Uh, over two and a half goals at plus 100. Mm, I'm not so sure. Uh, Forest, I'm not scoring twice, but I do believe they score. I've got this game at 1 1, Stinch. That's where I want to start. So then I'm not going under or over. Yeah, I can kind of see where you're coming from, but. Forrester are almost similar in terms of levels of trust. It's kind of like, you know, away from home, like Liverpool. Like, they've just been absolutely shambolic, I would say, away from home. You know, they've scored four goals on the road all season. And they they think they can stay up. If they think they can stay up, it's going to have to be their home form. But the, their home form has not been great either, you know, dropping points to relegation rivals in, in Everton and, and Wolves of late. And they've got a very set, tough set of fixtures in the running as well. So I'd be concerned for Forest, but I don't think anyone out there would be rushing to bat Leeds at minus money. Um, you know, it looks a little bit of a trap. But then again, as I say, at the same time, Forest have offered next to nothing going forward. I think the goal line is quite interesting. Um, we sort of associate Leeds' manager, Javi Garcia, uh, as not being sort of a, a goal heavy uh, manager in terms of the games his teams are involved in. Uh, but we saw Leeds away at Wolves uh, not so long ago. Obviously, we saw Leeds uh, away at Arsenal. Um, no surprise, really, to see them uh, uh, to see them lose and, and fairly heavily. Um, Leeds themselves were, were minus 120 just to score in that game. Uh, and they registered, obviously, on the score sheet there. Um, I think if you think Leeds win, you probably think Leeds don't win 1-0. So you'd be better off back in the minus 110, they score over 1.5 goals, and then the minus 125, they just win the match. Uh, but I'm, I'm not ready to, to trust Leeds defensively. I do think Forrest have the weapons to hurt them on the counter if it ever clicks. But as we, as we know, they, they brought in so many different players it's, and they've suffered a lot of injuries as well, to truth be told. So Steve Cooper's always having to juggle his, uh, his 11 and, and his front line in particular. So <clears throat> I think grand scheme of things, as you say, if it, if it plays out in the six-point style, then both teams might not try and give anything away. But I don't know if both teams are able to do that defensively. They're just they're abysmal. Um, so I think for... Push come to show, if I was forced to bet, I definitely think I'd take the overs. It feels similar to the um, Bournemouth-Fulham game uh, the weekend. Uh, I know it's it's a different scenario in terms of relegation, etc. But I, I feel like it's two teams that are more likely to see an overs game than the, the odds suggest. I think perhaps, you know, this should be maybe chalked up a bit more 50-50 on the odds. And yeah, maybe lead sort of closer to, to minus 110 than the, the minus 125. But I can understand it given Forrest wretched away form. Yeah, no wins in five for the visitors. Leeds, two wins in their last five. Um, yeah, more than a bum fight down there at the bottom. I'm just thinking that Forrest turn up, Marco here, and they say, right, OK, well, listen, you beat us. We'll be patient. We will take our time. I can see this being 1-1. I see it maybe being 0-0. Leeds could obviously go and absolutely torture them. But I've got the draw around 220. So when I saw the draw at plus 265, how do you split these two sides? Uh, it's hard. It's really hard. Um, you know, I, the first thing I did when I looked at this match was, was I was sort of take a step back. I couldn't believe Leeds were minus money. Um, I can't be backing them at that kind of price, particularly without Tyler Adams. Uh, I said it last week, but he is an enormous miss. Um, his work off the ball is as good as any in the Premier League. I, I believe he's destined for a, for a bigger club than Leeds at some point. And in the four matches he's missed for Leeds in the Premier League this season, they've conceded 12 goals and allowed 73 shots. Um, I don't think that's a massive surprise, really. And look, they competed reasonably well at the Emirates at the weekend until the opening goal. But uh, then you're always chasing. We've seen that happen to, to both Palace and Everton in recent weeks. So I'm not going to read too much into that. But what I was surprised and kind of put off by from a Leeds perspective was the team sheet. It was a very odd 11 that Javi Gracia picked um, with uh, Aronson sort of leading the line in a kind of false nine role uh, didn't have any impact whatsoever on the game which uh yeah would be a be a concern i'd want to see the team sheets before having any sort of faith in these uh, this is a, a team at minus money they've only won six times in the premier league all season uh, and only two sides have picked up fewer points at home than leeds which is quite surprising really so you know you can focus on forest's poor away record but leeds haven't been 
fantastic at Ellen Road, surprisingly, either. However, if you do sort of identify their record at home to bottom half teams, it's actually pretty decent. They're unbeaten. They've won four of six. But even so, um, you know, the, we, we, we assume Grassi will make them more defensively organised, uh, more rounded, less chaotic. But we haven't seen that recently. They've conceded eight goals in three games. Uh, and again, it just kind of goes back to the Tyler Adams departure uh, from injury and having Rodrigo and Bamford back does make a difference, but we need to see them in the team rather than on the bench. So uh, Forrest, um, winless in seven, four of those have been defeats, conceding goals, conceding chances, loads of injuries. Talk about them being fairly reliable at the city ground, uh, but uh, less so away from home. Well, actually, kind of the city ground performances have kind of shown a bit of a, a regression recently too. And as Stinch said, just four goals away from home. We're in April now, kind of embarrassing, really. So um, <clears throat> the only thing I would say about Forest is if you rule out uh, the top five in the league, they've only lost six times this season. So <clears throat> they can be competitive, but yeah, there's, there's just not enough there for me in any market to get excited about. The, the one area I was keen on, we haven't got prices on BetUS just yet, would be the cards market, just being a massive six-pointer between two tetchy, feisty teams. Um, who do like to put their foot in uh, both teams very much towards the top end of the cards area. If you could get to three and a half line, it'd be an absolute dream. You probably won't do it. will be about four and a half. So yeah. um, if you can get an Asian line of four, then I'd, I'd be taking the overs at around minus 120. But um, <clears throat> yeah, no, nothing official here. OK, chat, get get doing what you do. Find out the uh, the card line right across the board. We'll take a mean on that. I just cannot see. I think Forrest parked the bus. I think that Forrest come away here. And I think that the one point just means that Leeds and some of the others are just definitely going to stay behind them. They need something. Um, and it won't be a bad thing on the back of obviously conceding a late equaliser at the weekend. So I've got this down as being a draw. Official pick, please. Draw plus 265. That's only because I can't split them. And I think that Forrest will be very, very organised, very solid. And then that people can say, they've let in 50 goals. How are they organised? How are they solid? Because now they have to be. They have to be. Because otherwise, all that hard work, all through the season, trap door, and it'll be championship for them next year. 